The man who runs the stage for the Nutcracker and makes sure everything's set and ready to go is Gary Crofts. His team beaver away before curtain up. They prepare all the tricks which help us dancers create the illusions you see in the show. Uh, you, you draw some wire today? Uh, yes, I okay. am. Well, here's your draw some wire ramp here. You, you step from the bridge to here. And we so this is one of the magic tricks that we have. This hydraulic ram is pivotal to one of my entrances. I check to see I'm happy with it before each performance. It's checked. It's meant to look like Drosselmeyer's defying gravity. Act one is stressful. When I was younger, the first time I did it, I was really nervous. <laughs> the Nutcracker is nerve-wracking for everyone. It involves 120 performers on stage, moving scenery, effects, explosions, and perhaps the greatest illusion of them all, the growing Christmas tree. The tree is fantastic. The base of it is way, way under the stage. And how it grows is that this bridge actually is lifted with the tree on it. So from the audience point of view, it looks as if the tree's getting bigger, which it is, but it's actually the stage elevator coming up. It's like a huge trap. If somebody touches the edge of the bridge, it'll actually cut out. It won't work. That's what happens. And so then you're just stuck. In that situation, which has happened to us before, you have to bring the curtain down, because there's no way out of it. And they have to get the bridge up so the tree's in a grown position, and we carry on from there. It's a disaster if it stops. But uh, I've been lucky enough, I've done four runs of it now, um, in the new building, and it hasn't happened to me. <laughs> so <laughs> we've got a run of 22 now to do. Elsewhere, Clara's naughty brother Fritz gets his comeuppance when Drosselmeyer magics him suddenly into the air. You just get the wire put on your back and then you just go on after the owl and then they just pull you up. We had a rehearsal last weekend and it didn't go as high as it went today, so it went much higher today. We're going to go higher. We're even going higher. The wire needs to go higher. It's a great thrill for them. OK, darling, let's go and do your quick change. And if you're curious about how we control the weather in the Royal Opera House, here's how we do it. There's four snow bags. And the snow bags, each snow bag is held on two bars. And the bars move like this. And there's holes in the back of the snowflake bags. The snowflakes fall through the holes, creates a snowfall. Depends how fast they move, how hard the snow falls. My name's Lily House, and I'm the sleigh driver. At the end of the snowflake dance, um, I have to carry the principles through on the sleigh, and you just operate it by pressing the forward and reverse button and it just goes and you have to steer it with this as well. It's really like a grand milk float, that's what it is, a battery operated. And so when we audition from the school, we always say, has anybody got a driving license? Because if they can drive a moped or a scooter, obviously they can, they can drive it better. Over the years, we've done really well, because I mean, it could be disaster. I mean, they could go into the orchestra bit with it or anywhere. Peter Wright's production of the Royal Ballet's Nutcracker is bursting with captivating surprises to complement Tchaikovsky's wonderful score. And now, you know some of its secrets. Now that's magic. <laughs>